Hey guys, welcome back. I often get asked which features or things I would like to be added to the game. And in most cases, I just have a couple of smaller wishes to build upon the existing vanilla gameplay. I made a couple of videos about it already, for example, the movable block entities, the vanilla style auto crafting table, or recently the jukebox features. I might have one or two outlandish yeah, wishes as, as well. For example, I always like the idea of a fourth dimension just for adventure similar to the Twilight Forest mod, I really like that mod. And yeah, it would be great, and Mochi could also finally develop that RPG game they always wanted. But yeah, today I want to feature another small thing that definitely should be added to the game. So you probably know that you can use dispensers uh, to uh, dispense all kinds of buckets, powder, snow, lava, water, and... A couple of years ago, a couple of updates ago, we also got the feature that you can now fill water bottles with the dispenser. And the player can also interact with a call and filling it with all of those things. But for some reason, you can't do the same with a dispenser. So if you try that, then it just spits out the item. Yeah, the dispenser filling the cauldron should definitely be a thing in my opinion. I also checked the Bedrock Edition, it's also not possible there to fill the cauldron with a dispenser. Now you could maybe argue that it wouldn't make sense that a dispenser could be able to fill a cauldron from the side because there's like a dividing wall in between, but then at least you should be able to do it from on top, right? And I guess for convenience sakes it would also be fine if you could uh, fill it from all sides. I mean you can also do that, you can fill the cauldron from the bottom. So how is that supposed to work? Not sure if Steve has maybe gadgetto arms. You can reach around and fill it from the top from five meters below. So I guess it would be a nice feature if you could just do it from all sides. After we talked about this a couple of months ago, my friend Kawa actually added this feature for us so we can use it in Quick Carpet. Link is also in the description for Quick Carpet. So you can enable the slash carpet dispenser interact cauldron and then set it true of using carpet for the first time and yeah, this way we can now dispense water into a cauldron lava and powder snow as well and we can also use let's actually also show the powder snow real quick uh, and we can also use uh, glass bottles so we could put in three glass bottles like this and then fill the cauldron it's actually a little bit of a randomizer right now we have multiple in there we can of course also have only one in there and fill it and empty the cauldron again with the glass bottles. There are two main reasons why I want to have this feature in the game. First one, obviously are farms. It would be super useful for powder snow and lava bucket farms. I'm gonna come back to it later. The second one is that this also would make a really neat redstone component. So T flip flop would be made like this. Just dispense uh, some fluid into a cauldron and take an output with the comparator. Um, in Java Edition, you already have sticky piston block dropping, which would be just as compact. Um, but I think for Bedrock Edition, mostly this would also be super nice to have. But there's definitely also a couple other things we could do with this. So this could be also a nice replacement for a redstone lamp, which we can just toggle on or off. So it's definitely a bit better than just uh, spilling lava that could flow somewhere, or water into sea pickles that would then emit light. Definitely would be a nice alternative. Uh, but I'm sure there's a lot of other things we can do with this. Maybe also let me know in the comments what you would use it for. Okay, so next let's check out how this feature could improve a lava bucket farm, for example. So here we have this setup that I made for 1.17. Uh, we got the you know, cauldrons under the dripstone with blocks and lava on top. So the empty cauldrons are getting filled with lava. And this was all supposed to be harvested by a player. The player was stationary, so we could easily resupply him with empty buckets, which we got from the dropper over here. So it would work like this. You stand yeah, just on top of the hopper here, fill your inventory. Go to survival mode really quick. And you press the button, and then the cauldrons are pushed in front of you. And yeah, always get 12 the cauldrons pushed towards you. I'm just gonna yeah, quickly go inspect the mode as you can see what happens. You always basically just rotate the cauldrons around the setup. Okay, um, back then I actually had to slow this down. Technically, if you use a fast clicking script, you could bucket a cauldron every four ticks, but by just holding down right mouse button, um, yeah, I had to actually make this farm slower, so we could only do it every eight ticks, reliably bucket the lava. Now, of course, um, 
if he could just use a dispenser instead of the player, he could build two of those farms running at the same time. We could also make this faster, which I'm gonna do, and we could even yeah, make a setup. We bucket the lava out of a single cauldron as soon as it uh, fills it up. All right, so I managed to rebuild the lava farm using the dispenser cauldron interaction feature. So let's check it out. I was able to squeeze in the dispenser here under the cauldrons, uh, drop a hopper and a chest refilling it with empty buckets. And first thing you notice is this goes a lot quicker now. So we can do five cauldrons per second, one every four ticks now. Okay, so Using the curved rail trick, I was able to also squeeze a minecart inside of the dispenser to immediately pick up the lava bucket items that are actually just thrown out. And then it would go into the chest here. Okay. Not the perfect farm, just quickly put this together, so that's why we also get some empty buckets. We would need to yeah, dynamically turn the clock here on and off, so it would never dispense an empty bucket. But I just want to show you what it could do with this. And although it's actually quite a lot of hoppers you would need for that, here's also one white tile level version where the cauldron gets emptied immediately. Just take an output here with a comparator, then immediately activate the dispenser in the back. But I think the real fun of this feature would start if you would have movable dispensers or block entities in general as well. I was thinking a powder snow farm could benefit hugely from this. So yeah, Best could I come up with those powder snow farms is either transport all the buckets to the player, that's usually a bit more effort, or just have him go under the, all the cauldrons, Micah trying to bucket each of those cauldrons. And I don't like those farms, you always need a player. AFKing would be so much nicer if you yeah, could just AFK and the machine does the rest. It's basically fully automatic. You only need the player to um, random tick the area so the cauldrons would get filled would be much nicer to have. So we could use something like this here, a flying machine that would harvest in each cauldron. Um, and this could maybe be activated as soon as it stops snowing. You could use the shaking wolf mechanic with the skulk sensor to detect it. So as soon as it stops snowing, just launch the flying machine here. And yeah, nicely bucket all of the snow. The buckets would even land in the cauldrons, uh, ready to be picked up by either maybe a moving hopper below as well. Or just um, yeah, a hopper minecart. So I'll be talking about small features we'd like to see in the game. Here's another one. I think it would be nice to be able to interact with a partially filled cauldron somehow. So if you have a level 1 or level 2 powder snow cauldron, can't do anything about it. If you would try to use a bucket on this, would just dispense it even with that feature. Um, I think in general it would just be nice to have a snow bottle. So similar to the water bottle. That we can also take out those layers of snow somehow, and I just think in general it would be cool to have a snow bottle. There's definitely a nice use for that somehow, it would just be a nice item to have I think. One more thing that should, in my opinion, follow the logic of a player can do it, so the Spencer should be able to do it too, would be releasing and catching a bucket of fish axolotl or tadpole. So you can release those animals and then if you have a water bucket, not an empty bucket, then you can catch them again. But the dispenser is not able to do that. You can only do it partially. So you can have a yeah, tropical fish bucket in there, you can release them and the water. But if you try to put the fish back in, it doesn't work. You can only bucket the water then again. But there's also a carpet rule, also made by cow. Um, dispenser pick up bucketels, set this to true, we can also catch the fish. I think in general this would just be a nice mechanic to have, to be able to do that. For example, somebody could make an aquarium that you could automatically empty again somehow and get the fish out so you can do some cleaning or whatever <laughs> role playing idea you have. Um, just maybe would be nice to look at, but it could also be used for gathering tropical fish. There's like over, I think, 3,000 different types of them. Could make some kind of tropical fish farm and automatically bucket those guys. Unfortunately, the LA right now wouldn't be able to sort the type of um, bucket of tropical fish. It would bring you all of those. Um, that's another thing. I want a second type of LA. Maybe not a blue one, maybe a yellow one. They would be NPT sensitive. So imagine a fully automatic tropical fish farm, yellow alley or whatever color, uh, to then sort out the bucket of tropical fish and you could sell them at your shop or something like that. It would be really nice.
the one last thing while we add it, you might have noticed that there's a couple more dispenser features we have in carpet, a quick carpet mod. Um, there's also dispenser break blocks, place blocks. I think that's a bit controversial. I would be in favor at least of the place blocks feature in case we have more block entries especially. But I'm going to save it for another video to show you some stuff you could do with that. But there's also scrape copper, shear vines, strip blocks and till soil. Those would just be some really convenient features to have. For example, yeah, using the whole over and over again to make farmland. You could technically have a really large scale area, make a flying machine to do that for you. Also turn the coarse dirt into dirt that into farmland. This would just be a really nice convenience features. Also, we could make some fast elevators with that, but that's something uh, else. And yeah, here would be the scrape copper. So you can already do the, the waxing automatically using the honeycomb and a dispenser. So this is vanilla in case you didn't know. But it would also be nice you could automatically remove it again just by having an axe in a dispenser. Similar, be nice to be able to strip blocks automatically. I think about your tree farm. Instead of just having a player standing there using the X while AFK on all of those locks before it gets sent to the blast chamber, I really think a dispenser should be able to do it. And we could just feed it with more axes. Then also one of the more annoying farms was always the, the vine farm because it always had the player rotating around there, shearing all the vines. Yeah, dispenser should also be able to do that. This would be the shear vine feature. We don't have it in quick carpet yet, but it would also be nice if you could automatically milk cows with the dispenser. So my vision of the game would be, yeah, it would definitely be nice if you could automatically milk cows, combined it with some sugar and eggs with the auto crafting table into a cake, then use flying dispensers to auto place them and cover a primitive floor completely with cake. I think that would be nice to have. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks guys for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.